A Roman army of 25,000 soldiers marches in column formation. They're in pursuit of the Carthaginian army that has been roaming freely through Roman lands, attacking and burning Roman villages. This Carthaginian army numbered some 40 to 50,000 soldiers and is commanded by Hannibal Barca, the general whom defeated the Romans at the Battle of the Trebia River. Hannibal had marched his army further south into Roman territory, forcing the Romans to assemble new armies to deal with this threat. After crossing the Apennine Mountains, Hannibal had sacked and burned multiple Roman villages to draw out the Roman consuls and their armies. Hannibal had managed to successfully lure a Roman army led by the consul, Gaius Flaminius, into pursuing him. As the Romans marched in their column formations alongside the shores of Lake Tresemane, Hannibal had prepared an ambush. His army was fully concealed behind woodland and foliage, awaiting patiently for the Romans as they were marching unexpectedly right into the Carthaginian trap. On early morning on June 24, 217 BC, the consul Flaminius and his entire army march on what he believes is Hannibal's position. Hannibal's army consisted of the same demographics of soldiers who defeated the Romans at the Trebia River. These were his elite Libyan and Carthaginian infantry and cavalry, his Gallic allies and mercenary soldiers, his Iberian and Spanish infantry and cavalry, and lastly, his renowned Numidian cavalry. After Hannibal's victory at the Trebia River, the Roman Republic had lost complete control of Cisalpine Gaul, and Hannibal managed to acquire thousands of Gallic soldiers from the surrounding regions of Cisalpine Gaul to aid in his war against the Romans. The Gallics hated the Romans as Rome had stolen their lands many years prior. Thus, Hannibal's war was a great opportunity for the Gauls to get their vengeance. At the front of the Roman column, are veteran Roman legionaries who had fought Hannibal at the Battle of the Trebia River and managed to escape the slaughter the Romans had endured. Hannibal has placed his heavy Libyan and Carthaginian infantry out in the open, blocking the road in an attempt to slow down the Roman advance. The veteran legionaries at the front of the Roman column charge at Hannibal's heavy infantry and a minor engagement ensues. As the rest of the Roman army marches forward to aid the front of their column, the Carthaginians come charging from the forest, successfully ambushing and catching the Romans by surprise. Flaminius orders his legions to form up as quickly as they can. The tail end of the Roman column is attacked by Numidian and Iberian cavalry skirmishers, picking apart the Roman soldiers one by one. The Carthaginian cavalry flank the Roman column and begin to charge the flanks and rear. During the battle, the Roman consul Flaminius is pursued by the Gallic soldiers and is killed during the fighting. The Carthaginians overwhelm the Romans, forcing them all the way back to the lake shore. They are pursued by Hannibal's forces and begin to desperately fight with their backs to the lake shore. Being fully surrounded, the battle soon turns into a slaughter, with many Roman soldiers trying to swim away desperately to flee the slaughter. Though they were weighed down by their armor, and many ended up drowning in the lake. At the front of the column, the veteran Roman soldiers, having witnessed the destruction of their entire army and realizing that the battle is lost, begin fighting fiercely through Hannibal's heavy infantry ranks, desperate to escape the field, eventually pushing through the Carthaginians' blockade and running from the battlefield. These veterans are captured a day or two later by the Carthaginians, many being killed, with some being held ransom. The estimated casualties were 15 to 20,000 Roman soldiers, almost the entire Roman force, with some of the soldiers being held ransom. Meanwhile, only 15 to 2,500 Carthaginian soldiers were lost during the battle. This battle was one of Rome's heaviest defeats in its entire history, and one of Hannibal's greatest victories during the Second Punic War.